Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to add some RAM to our Dell Inspiron 3880. So I don't recommend using this RAM, the RAM that I'm about to use. It's because since we can't access the XMP profile, this RAM is going to run slower at 2133 megahertz rather than 2666. I will show you screenshots toward the end of the video. So I highly recommend maybe getting a RAM stick that's probably low density. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. And let's get to the RAM upgrade. So we have two screws here. You don't really need a screwdriver to open the side panel, but I'm just going to use one. It's a PH2 screwdriver, but you can totally use your fingers as well. Now I'm going to gently open this up right here. Now here's our original RAM stick. All we gotta do is uh, unlock it by pushing down these two tabs right here. And then I'll show you guys what the RAM stick is as well. Like I said, try to get something low density or something similar to this. So this is a PC4 3200 SK Hynix. So like I said, I'll show you some screenshots. So now I'm gonna leave the audio in. So you can see that we made sure to put the tabs down and then we are going to align the notches and push down our RAM stick so that So this is dim slot one As you can see on the motherboard there, so I'm going to push it down you Hear that uh, locking sound Now we have our second stick right here I'm Just going to align the notches and Gently push it down, and you're going to hear that clicking sound, of course. Let me get you a better view. So I, uh, I'm going to do it again, so I can get a closer view, a better angle. So like I said, we put down all the locking tabs, and then I'm going to grab the first stick, align the notches, and this is dim slot one. And then push it in there we go so the second stick same thing dim slot 2 we're gonna align the notches place it in push it down so far so good Now uh, we are going to close it up. So I'm going to put back the side panel here. Easy peasy. And then we are going to grab our PH2 screwdriver. And once we have the two screws secured, let us boot it up. So when I booted it up, it showed this alert the amount of System memory has changed. I press continue and then the computer will load up as normal. Now let me show you some side by sides of before and after. So GPU, you have 7.9 gigabytes of shared GPU available now. And memory, you can see that the speed is 2133 megahertz, 12.6 gigabytes available compared to 2666 megahertz. So I just wanted to point that out. We are running dual channel as you can see right here. And yeah, the reason why is we can't access the XMP profile on this computer. So this is slot two, as you can see, and that is pretty much it. So this is what it shows in the memory information in the BIOS now. So I do hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.